Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I'll teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is uh, part one of my regex character classes. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com I'm going to select begin and I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the regex characters part one tutorial. So the regex character classes are used to create a compiled pattern object that will instruct our matcher, matcher object to match only one out of several possible characters. Now the term classes in character classes is somewhat confusing as it does not refer to a Java class but rather a regex class. Now, a regex character class is not a compiled.class file. The term class should be more thought of as a simple classification or a category, right? So the character classification defines several ways to search for or exclude single characters using the square brackets. So first I'm gonna just talk about like a simple character classes. And basically what we have is single characters enclosed in square brackets. So down here for our pattern, our regex pattern here, we've got A, E, I, O, U, the vowels, right? And then our matcher string that we'll have here, Java Tutorials, and it'll return back true, and it'll find, it'll, it'll actually have six finds there. And that's because we're, we've got one, two, three, four, and then five and six vowels there, basically there, right? So any one of these, right, it'll return back a, so the first find, it'll return back, you know, A, right, and this specific A there, and then the next one, A again, and then it'll return back a U, right, and then O, and then I, and then A. So there is no E in this particular string there, but it'll just do a single character, and that's, that'll become important to understand. I'll show you here in a minute, but. Now in the next one here, we want to find B, uppercase X or Y. And remember, it's case sensitive here on the regex too as well. So this will return back false, no finds there. We don't have any of those single letters in here. The next thing we can do is we can enclose it, for example, in like a string, right? So starting off with F, and then we can either have an O or an A, right? And then an X. So if we search for fax machine here, it'll return back true and one find. And then the uh, next thing we can do is um, using that same regex expression there, we can check for the quick brown fox and that'll return back true as well. It'll find that there, right? Okay. Now let's say for example, we can catch misspellings. So I got similar misspelled here. We can do like S-I-M and then either an I or an A and then an L, right? And then put in another, another um, you know, simple character class there for I, A, or E. So it will actually find this similar misspelled here true as well. All right, let's take a look at something else here. Um, so basically you have like the United States version spelling of coloring book, and then you got the United Kingdom true English spelling, a version of coloring book right there with an OU. So let's say for example, we put in an OU right here. Now this is going to be searching for COL, right? And then either an O or a U and then R. So this will return back true in one find. Now, if we do the same thing for coloring book, right, with the OU version of it there, it's going to return back false. And this is where it's important to understand that you're either searching for an O or a U. Hence, these are called character classes. They're not called string classes. They're string literals too as well, right? But these are character classes enclosed in there, okay? If we do a simple search for just basically OU without the color, yeah, it'll come back and it'll find five of them, right? You've got your O, O, U, and two O's right here as well, right? So it's gonna do five finds on that. All right, let's talk about the next um, class up there, and that's called the negation character, right? Which is basically a character, a caret character, followed by single characters enclosed in square brackets. So the negation character, or meta character, if you want to be technical, causes the find method to match all characters except for the ones inside of the brackets. So if we do the, basically the same thing, the negation character right here, and then A, E, I, O, U, it will come back with true eight finds. Now, um, basically the eight, the first one we're gonna find right here is this J, this V, this space, this T, all right? We're up to four now, here's five six, and then seven and eight. So any of these vowels, they're excluded from the search here, right? 
If we do a negation um, character, meta character, with B uppercase X and Y, right, it's gonna come back true and 14 finds. Every single one of these letters, including the space in here, right, is, is not one of these characters, right? And the next thing we'll do is um, the negation on this, right, for our finding our fax or fox. So um, basically for the fox there, the not O, that's, um, since we have, well, basically the A for fax, or down here we have the fox, and we're doing the negation, it cannot contain an O or, or an A in between the F and the X. So this will return back false, right? and this will return back false as well, okay? Because we do in fact have, you know, um, fax and fox in here. All right, so, and then similar without that there, that'll return back false, no find. Um, color, false, no find. Color with the OU, false, no find. And if we do um, negate and then OU, the negation character and then OU, it'll come back true and that's nine finds and it's not finding the O or the U, it's finding the C, the L, the R, the ING, the space, the B, and the K, okay? All right, so that's the negation character. And last, last kind of grouping I wanna talk about are ranges there. And those are characters separated with a dash enclosed in square brackets. Now the dash character, meta character, if you wanna be technical, causes the find method to match a range of characters inside of the brackets. Okay, so for our regex expression pattern here, we're gonna do lowercase a through d, right? Now this will basically say, okay, any, anything a, b, c, or d, right? That's the range, that's what the range character means. They're pretty self-explanatory on that. So we come back with three finds. We have an a here, an a here, and an A here. There aren't any other Bs, Cs, or Ds, lowercase here, that we can find, okay? So true with three finds. The next pattern we'll be searching is uppercase A through uppercase M, right? And that will come back true with one find because of the uppercase J right here. All these lowercase letters in between that range won't report back anything, okay? It is case sensitive. The next one here, we can check the num, well, basically the, the, um, character number representations of one through five, one, two, three, and four, right? And five, um, and then come, that'll come back two with true, true with two finds. And then not A through D on Java tutorials will come back with 11 finds. And that's, you know, basically this string right here, Java tutorials is 14 characters long. So we had three finds on the, on the simple class. And then on the negation here, we have 11. So 11 plus three, of course, is equal to 14. And if we do not one through five, we'll come back with 12 finds and you know, looking at a simple class version right there, you got two, right? So they're almost like the polar opposites of each other. If we do um, C-O-L and then O through U and then R, it'll come back true one find and then same exact situation as the simple pattern up here. We're searching for either an O or, R or a U in between a C, O, L, and an R. And it's the same exact thing if we do this down here. And I'll show you later on how we can actually, you know, do what you might be thinking we're looking for here, and that's having like an O, U or an O, right? Um, but anyway, but same thing here. We're gonna have either an O or a U or any of the other characters there too, like uh, o, P, Q, R, S, T, and U. So all any of those can be in between a C, O, uh, o L, and then an R. But since we have an O and a U, it's going to return back false and a no find. All right, um, let's just come down here and highlight this source code here. And control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm gonna move my browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to my command prompt on the desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right-clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next and finish. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open that up. First thing you wanna do is type in Java C, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing and configuring the Java development kit. You wanna make sure you get that done properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash, cd is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm gonna make a directory here called Java and using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, uh, it'll go ahead and create it for you there. I'm gonna change directories to the Java folder. I'm gonna make a directory here, and I'm just gonna call this uh, regex uh, characters. 
Um, yeah. Um, I'll probably do the next one as regex characters too. But anyway, I'll just do this one as regex characters. And let's change directories to the regex characters folder. And let's notepad regex characters.java. Okay. Regex characters.java will be the name of my source code file, also technically known as a compilation unit. Let's go ahead and uh, open that up here. Oops, it opened it up off screen. And Control V to paste, or right click and select paste. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and come up here and save this. So this basically, what I've got here is I've got this, this static method called display find, right? And we take a string value um, and I just called it regex, and a str another string value of what we want, of the search string that we want. So basically we'll have our regular expression and our search string. First thing I'm doing is initializing a Boolean value called false, or found it equal to false. And then I'm creating a new pattern object P, and I'm pat and basically um, invoking the static compile method right there, regex, which will return back a pattern object there for our regular expression there. And then I'm creating a matcher object by invoking the, um, the matcher method off of the pattern object, right? And passing in the search me expression, expression that we want to search. So then M is basically going to be a completely, um, you know, compiled, and the P is the compiled pattern and M will basically contain the whole entire regex and matcher that we want there. So while, um, I got this while loop going here, and of course the find method returns back a boolean if it finds it there. So we'll, we'll loop through uh, while it finds it, and basically we'll display to the console, you know, match or found plus invoking the group, right? And group basically will tell us the um, uh, the find character, right? So like for example, in this first one up here, uh, when it finds a it'll say invoking the group will display A, right? And then an index and invoking the start will show you what, uh, what character it's at. And then basically I'm just displaying the regex expression and the string for the search me there, okay? It's fairly simple there. And we'll, dis and we'll set the found it flag equal to true. The reason why I do that is because if we don't find anything in the string, then we want to check to see if, you know, if uh, found it is still false, right? Not true and then display no matches found for that to the console. Anyway, so that allows us to go ahead and just uh, invoke that static method up here, display find, passing in our regular expression here, and then our search expression. So let's go ahead and come up here and save this. Let's compile it. And let's clear our screen and let's run it. Okay, so a lot of stuff just went by there. So basically, you know, for our first one, in regular expression AEIOU, just a standard simple class in Java tutorials, you can see it found AAOUIA, -A -A, right? Which is all of those, and, and then whatever index they were at. So that's pretty, pretty cool on that. And then no match is found for BXY in Java tutorials. Uh, matcher found facts at integer zero for regex, right? This one right here in fax machine, fox, and then basically, you know, all this stuff is, is pretty much what I was talking about earlier there, right? Um, and so you can see all the results there. I won't, I won't like waste your time going through all these, but you know, run it on your own there and you'll see, you know, what exactly comes up as far as that. Um, no matches for color. This is, this is an important one right here you know, the O or the U in string coloring book, right? That's because you're searching for C-O-L and then either an O or a U, right? Not both. You're not searching for a string literal in this brackets. You're searching for a characters. Anyway, so um, let's cruise down here. These are all the not this, that, and the other, right? Not B, X, Y in Java tutorials to show you zero through, you know, character zero through 13, which is 14 characters long on that. Um, so all in all, fairly simple for this one here, uh, but you can check it out. And I would recommend playing around with these, you know, if you have a cult, uh, question on, you know, some of this, um, you know, what this will do, just go through and, and modify some of the regular expressions and see what the output, uh, output comes out at. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this off screen and then off screen and just leave you guys with a quick final thought there. 
So uh, stay tuned for part two of my character class tutorial while I will demonstrate unions, intersections, and subtractions. And that's still on that same character classes there. So anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.